Hi guys, it's Shakar Fry. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing my makeup and I'm going to be talking to you guys about this drama that has unfolded in the last couple of hours. Um, yeah, it started like last night, but I was sleeping. Well, I wasn't even sleeping. I just did not see it until this morning when I was scrolling down the timeline and it was just on there, you know? So guys, subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment your thoughts I guess um let's just get into the video so guys scroll down the timeline today and if you guys from the UK I'm pretty sure you guys would have saw it by now but I just saw a lot of tweets by like influencers so then also like rappers as well just being just colorist all of that and we're gonna talk about it we're just gonna talk about it so i'm gonna do my brows i'm not gonna do brow gel today just because i don't know i'm just can't bothered but um honestly before i even get into like the whole drama like i just want to say this is why black people never win like um, this is the actual reason and I feel like a lot of people see this and they just get mad and be like oh my god they don't even know what they're talking about but it's actually true we hate on each other so much instead of uplifting each other we rather just bring each other down it just actually doesn't make any sense do you know what I mean it really doesn't make any sense and it's so crazy that all of these people are black like it just doesn't make sense it actually like it's just ugh. It just goes, it just proves my point because I've been screaming this for the longest time but it just, now you guys can see for yourselves, like you guys can actually see. And I feel like it's such a crazy thing because people always wonder like, oh my gosh, like why do we never win? Like it just doesn't make no sense, like people don't rate us, da, da, da. and then you always blame other people like it's always other people or it's always another race or it's always another you know I mean it's always someone else except for ourselves like and it's always been a thing I just don't understand why we do it to each other it just it actually doesn't make sense you know do you know how do you know how popping we would be we would actually be so popping because do you guys know how great our music is do you guys know how great our music is do you guys not like our music even like us as people we're just so paying like do you, know, do you know do you know would be so popular so popping but no like we'd rather hit on each other and bring each other down i don't get it and like let's not make it as if it's nothing because the whole caribbean versus african thing again putting each other down another thing that is another thing yeah i said thing twice oh well but um you know just black guys killing black guys that's a thing like it's always blacks against blacks why 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 is it a thing i don't understand it's actually so crazy and back to the point of the whole tweet half of them haven't even apologized and we'll get into like the people that did apologize their apologies in a bit like later on but like it just says a lot it really really does say a lot like instead of people addressing things they're deleting their tweets they're deleting their account and it's like just apologize <laughs> like i feel like a lot of the time even though sorry sometimes doesn't make it better and i know like a lot of people will say like sorry doesn't change things and it's true definitely to a sense but i feel like just ignoring it and not even addressing it like address it not even addressing it it just makes it a huge thing like it just makes it a whole lot worse because it's, it's just like now you're trying to hide the fact that like what is deleting your account deleting tweets we've already seen the tweets so that doesn't make sense then deleting your account we already know who you are like and obviously for me like i would totally get it but i'd see some pen darkling girls and i'm just like why are you ugly like i don't get it like why do you picture us and you put us all in this one bracket like why i just honestly don't get it and for me obviously i'm older now and i've grown up and i really thought that things definitely have changed but i mean i was clearly wrong and i mean even though these are old tweets or whatever 
it doesn't matter like I feel like it doesn't matter especially if you don't address it or apologize properly like it really doesn't matter do you know what I mean and I just want to say a lot of these people supporters are very young also and I remember being younger and in secondary school like it was always a big thing it was always like dark skinned people are ugly light skinned white you guys all peng we're ugly like it was just a huge thing that happened and don't get it twisted like when I was younger obviously I was very very clueless to the whole thing so I was just always like why am I considered ugly I feel like the people who didn't care the most was definitely the rappers and it's so crazy because you guys like to use this in your videos talk about black girls da -da -da -da, but you don't like us I mean it doesn't make any sense and I feel like people just want to use us for whenever it's for for them like if it's for a music video yeah they want the black girl twerking or they want you know the black girl doing this that and the third and they want to talk about black girls with big boobs big fatty all of that but then you guys do not like us and I actually started realizing how fake people are because I'd realize people were singing their song how they like girls with big breasts big body and then they'll date a girl who has none of the above <laughs> and that's not no tea or no shade like obviously you can date who you want but it's just crazy that you know you're preaching in every single one of your songs that this is what you want and you go for the complete opposite it's just weird to me so like don't listen don't use us for views or you know ratings like just don't like if you don't like us don't put us in these songs talking about us etc etc show your true true feelings and you know what's so crazy is these people who talk about like <sighs> let me just breathe let me just breathe like, i don't understand realistically i actually genuinely don't understand because you guys' mothers are black you have family members are black because you are black so are they apes are they monkeys are they disgusting are they overly just loud and uncontrollable because that's the narrative that you're giving us so therefore is your mother is your sister is your cousin like i'm just i'm just trying to understand because it's okay for, like i just i actually don't understand i really don't understand it's actually baffling to me so there were a lot of people who were on this list of people who were just super disrespectful so i'm gonna go through them you know so that you guys can know um miss our fabulous zz mills there was ivorian doll there was i don't know this guy but his name's rico wonderley e I don't know him. Um, Hedy Wan. There was Alicia Maria B. There was some guy. Don't know him. Of NSG. No, NS. Yeah, that group. Then there was Yasmin Diaz. Then we have some guy named Lippy. Then Swarms. Then Tian Wayne. Nella Rose. Paige Cakey. Chunks, Young Philly, there was Nines, and that's all the ones that I saw. I'm pretty sure there's more, and I'm pretty sure more will come out. I mean, if people are smart, I mean, they're deleting their tweets. I mean, you know what I mean? But I mean, I think it's quite dumb for you to, like, delete your tweet when we've already saw it. You know what I mean? Or delete your account. Like, I don't understand. Do you think that when you come back to your account that things are going to be different? Things are going to change? Do you know what I feel like? I feel like if someone leaves their account for like three months, then they come back. You're just going to start the whole thing all over again. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And I feel like it's actually changed my perspective on a lot of these people. Because, you know what? I'm not going to lie. A bunch of the people that was mentioned or who was exposed or whatever, I actually like them. So it actually just shows quite a lot. And I feel like a lot of these people that are deleting their tweets or who are laughing at the stuff that they said, and I feel like it makes sense because they said what they said. So obviously they feel that way then and they still feel that way now. So there's no point of us being like, oh my days, they didn't even apologize. Like, are we surprised are we really honestly surprised i mean they have those views on us do you know what i mean and you know what the biggest thing for me that i never understood is that 
black guys join the bandwagon so as you guys could obviously tell the tweets were like really 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 disrespectful and i was just like wow that's crazy because i feel like what black people don't understand is we're the ones that are kind of mainly supporting you guys like the little following that you guys have it's us and i'm not saying that you know we're all of their following but we're the majority if that makes sense but honestly i actually don't understand how someone can hate their own race like it's so crazy to me because let's be honest like i know we've all had our problems with you know our own people do you know what i mean it makes sense like it, it happens do you know what i mean i went to school there was quite a lot of black people there not bare but there was quite a lot of black people there i had problems with them do you think that i went to twitter and started tweeting about it like i actually don't understand and i feel like because you have a following it makes it so much worse and a lot of these people's followings are younger people so i just don't get it and the reason why you're called an influencer is because you have a following to influence people so you posting what you're posting that's gonna make someone be like oh my god like you know i'm black that means i'm this that that the third do you know what i mean like you don't get it and i feel like people don't understand the reason why you have this following you need to be careful with it that's the whole point and i just feel like a lot of you guys i just i really don't understand what actually made made someone actually post what they posted do you know what i mean it just doesn't make sense like by the time that i was 16 i was grown do you know what i mean 16 15 i was grown if you're like 12 13 like okay cool not that i get it but i understand you're young but 15 16 you're a big woman you're a big woman you're a big guy like you, you're grown do you know what i mean like it doesn't make any sense and Oh, I just, oh, I just, I just have no words. Guys, my ex is not doing me justice right now, so I've just added some cream over my um. Oops, that wasn't that supposed to go there. Over my um primer. Um, don't know how this is gonna turn out now, but obviously it needed it. Like it went so dry, and I didn't even notice. Like I'm an idiot. I actually didn't notice. But um, back to the point, like these influencers guys i'm not gonna lie most of them actually like so i was kind of i'm kind of waiting for a lot of these guys responses because you know what guys as much as i i want to just i'm probably just gonna like them from a low you know and i feel like we'll do it do you know what i mean so i'm not ashamed i'm gonna like them from a low so for me right now i'm kind of waiting for a lot of these people to respond or kind of like you know let me know like you know just just let me know like what their reasoning behind this was or do you know what i mean i want to know what a lot of these people are you know planning to say or planning to defend themselves like what are they gonna say to basically defend themselves really like i just need to know that like i need to know them need to make my own choice based on that and there was many different tweets that one person has posted so do you know what i mean one person posted four one person posted five do you know what i mean there's different um that was just an estimate by the way i'm not saying that one person did because i'm not sure of the numbers that people have posted but i know that some people posted more than one so that's why it's kind of like we kind of need people to let us know what's 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 happening basically so i'm just waiting for maybe people's you know apologies and stuff like that to see maybe if you know just to see if it's like good enough i feel like i need to see people's reasoning behind it their age etc because i feel like that in itself does make all the difference if that makes sense but then like if you're telling me you were 18 and you're saying that then i'm sorry but well, it just doesn't work like that i'm just very very sorry to tell you and what i want to know is yeah why don't people delete their tweets that are old like and they know that it could have been offensive because for me yeah i'm not gonna lie i go through um i mean i delete my ig posts all the time i delete delete youtube posts do you know what i mean and i just don't understand why you wouldn't 
delete them? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't delete them because realistically, I get like, obviously now you make a lot of tweets, but wouldn't you, you know, once you know you're on like a big level, wouldn't you kind of go back and think, you know what, I need to kind of get rid of, do you know what I mean? Because I feel like everything, when it comes to social media, I feel like everything should be like polished and, you know, you know how people like rebrand themselves. Obviously you get rid of old things, stuff that don't represent you now. And yeah, like I just don't understand why you wouldn't delete offensive tweets. You know what I mean? Because it just really doesn't make sense. I just, I, I just don't get it. Because I feel like why do people leave it there for people to find? It's almost as if you want people to find them, like, because why would you leave them there for people to find realistically? Okay, so now I kind of want to get into apologies and the people that did apologise and people that... I wouldn't even say they apologised, I would say they recognised what that people know what they did. I don't think they recognised what they said or... Yeah, I would just say they recognised that people now know what they said. So, Tian Wayne said a few things, and I mean, to be honest, what I got from what he said was, he was basically saying that he didn't say that. Someone then commented like, sir, as in showing him his other tweet, and basically saying that the layout was wrong and just, you just trying to push an agenda, and I'm just like, sir, just apologise and go, you know what I mean? I mean, you're cute and all, okay, but like, let's just keep it moving, you know what I mean? I do like him though, he's so... <laughs> he's a peg thing again, he's so beautiful. Okay, so Paige Kiki apologised to girls. I apologise for my offensive tweets. I'm genuinely... I can't even say that. Genuinely, sorry. Them tweets were from 2013, bitch. I don't care. It could be from 2001. Okay, probably not. I just want to know your age. I don't know how old you was then. I need to know your age, you know what I mean? Then, it says, At the time, it was banter between me and my best friends funny kind of banter between you and your friend that doesn't make no sense however looking back at it now i can deeply see it was unacceptable and very immature um and then she tweeted again i'm genuinely sorry um i'm not feeling this apology um it just doesn't make sense like no no we're not feeling that um miss our fabulous apologized about her eight comment to ZZ Mills and she just said a long ass thingy I'm not even trying to read that out but you guys can go see it it's on her page and it's on UK Gossip TV and the Shane Barrow I'm pretty sure but anyway long so short she basically just did a whole big speech um for calling the ZZ Mills at 8 then this person Rico something something he posted a picture of him he posted a picture of 50 posted a picture of 50 cent just lying down on the sofa just sleeping chilling so obviously he doesn't care pretty sure he's ugly anyway don't give a fuck about him then we got heady one who said she'd have never given uncle kuyami whatever the fuck that says my twitter password i mean he completely just ignored like the guys the, see that Rico guy whoever he is he completely ignored it him he's completely ignoring it brushing past it like it's a joke Alia Marie B she said she was 15 again that's grown 15 years old I'm sorry but you're very much aware now you're like in your 10 11 you're grown you're about to go off to college no like you're a big woman I think if you yeah you're a big woman at this point and she said she never had an issue with people in the area. Yeah, that's fine. But a lot of the stuff that she said was, like, loud black people on the bus. Like, do you know what I mean? However, I do feel like her apology was more sincere because, you know, she kind of went into it and she kind of talked about the self-hate, which I feel like, you know, makes sense. And, yeah, I feel like her apology was just a lot better. She said that she made a mistake. You know, do you know what I mean? appreciate that um however i do think she was a bit grown um this nf what the end that group yeah this guy who i don't even know who it is i don't know which one in the group it is don't know which one it is but he posted a video saying i don't know why you why the hell you posted this delete this delete this him he's just stupid like just dumb yeah so there was obviously more apologies i'm not gonna get into them like that but 
<clears throat> I want to just make very clear that when you're reading someone's apologies, really deep them, really, really deep them, because you need to understand that people have a brand, okay? People have a brand and they need to protect that brand because now they're getting negative backlash the same way how like hear me out same way how you guys you know saw those racist tiktoks and you guys went to you know their college their school you know all these different people you went to all these different places brands don't work with them so no one will work with them if they know that people are known as a racist or called a racist so therefore that's why a lot of these people will apologize a lot of people will apologize so that they can stay relevant a lot of people will apologize you know do you know what i mean people some people apologies ain't even insincere so you guys can look over the apologies yourself and see you know is this person sincere are they not and to be honest i'm surprised that they stayed under wraps for so long but i always like the truth always comes out in the end i suppose so i mean and i'm pretty sure people are like literally you're always told to be careful what you put out on the internet because it's always there i remember hearing about that a lot of the time because obviously when i was younger a lot of people's nudes um were leaked so i mean we were always told about the stuff that we post and be aware about it etc etc and i'm pretty sure like everyone was aware about these type of things because hello i mean we're all taught about it so i mean i guess it kind of just says a lot about these people's characters honestly and you know we just kind of have to wait for everyone's apology you know and see whether it's sincere or not obviously it's crazy it's absolutely crazy obviously you guys can see and make your own opinions but that right there was my opinion and you guys don't have to agree with my opinions okay so guys this is my finishing look i didn't do any lashes or anything because you know i got nowhere to be so <laughs> this is my in the house quarantine lockdown look um hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe follow my social media shakara fryer on instagram and miss underscore shacks on snapchat and i will see you guys in my next video